package. All right, mics are on. Mics are on. We're checking the YouTube page right now. All right, should I start it now? Let's start it. Sports philosophy fashion. If we did not mess up the beginning to every episode, always uh, switch cameras too. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, auto. Domo origato, Mr. Auto Button. It's really hard typing under pressure. I, most people won't be watching right now, but this is the sports philosophy. Hey, hey. This is the sports philosophy. Oh, that sounded a lot better. Oh, I was closer to the mic. Season two, a lot has changed. I can't tell if that's too loud. Uh oh, it's playing. We're good. You just gotta make sure it's changing, ready to go. You do you, I'll do me. Yeah, I'm typing. I'm typing. Apparently, when you call your show the sports philosophy, fans are expecting sports. So, let me tell you guys something. There will be more sports. How do you spell premiere? P R. Brother, you need Google spell check. Uh, it looks different when it's in all. We have an intro video waiting to come, but I want to make sure we are uh, streaming live and well. You know what? The first three minutes are just going to be me posting stuff because we just can't get our snap together. Oh, yeah. It says sports philosophy, baby. Um, Share everywhere. All right. I think, I think, I th- Boom. think video output low. Interesting. All right. That's whatever. Oh, we got Seth already in mic. All right. Play the intro video, and then I'll get into talking. All right. Let me restart it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Season two of the Sports Philosophy, and just to get underway, I want to introduce my co-host now, not an intern, <laughs> as always, the wonderful Wade Fury Yeary. Yeah, call me whatever. Apparently, it's uh, it doesn't matter what my last name is these days. Let's just talk where this new name is coming from. We are also broadcasters for ODU football, in case you didn't know. Well, we we try. We try to. Be. Oh, that's enough. We'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> it's just gossip hour. Uh, Already a compliment on the mustache from Psycat Yuri. Brother. Thank you for the support, Psycat, whoever you are. Let me tell you something. I don't got anything to tell you. All I got to tell you is we got our guests, we got our, our passes to get in the game. And I don't know how it happened, but they confused Yuri with Fury. So, do you know how to spell my last name? It's a it's a year Y E A R and then ye why exactly and do you know how they spelled it uh, I remember F U they started with F U so you know they're already coming at us and that explains a lot if F U R R E Y was how my last name was spelled I mean do you think that like perhaps I put a little accent when I say year do you think I say I'm a Yuri, or like... Maybe they thought you were German or French. I don't know, one of those countries, they would have changed it up a little bit. But that's besides the point. We killed it, and... And that's our new segment, besides the point. Continue. (laughs) And then, so here's what happened. There's this old guy who's been calling ODU football for thousands of years. Hey, I don't know. I don't know if we should out anybody. All I'm saying is they were jealous. We... We killed it. We tried our best. That's all that matters. I mean, when you do that well, you're gonna have haters, and haters gonna hate. That's what happened. But maybe you're right. We it should. is. It is pretty intimidating when you have. You've been doing this for so long, mm-hmm. and you got two kids next to you who've never done it before, and they were knocking it out. They were hitting it. Every they were like, "Why have I never thought? Why? Why is? Why have my broadcast never been that interesting? This is infuriating. They don't know what they're doing. They can't do that." <laughs> and fury. Hey. Hey, this all right. Guy. That's enough. Uh, we should probably talk about sports. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we are a sports show. Okay. Did you watch any of that Patriots Chiefs game yesterday? I didn't. I only watched most of it. That makes a lot of sense. All I'm saying is, now that fantasy football season started, 
as a fan, you're watching every single game. And in multiple leagues, I had players. But you want to know something awful? Uh, yes. The Patriots running back, they have like four good running backs, and I had one of them. And I benched one of them. <clears throat> Can you guess which one of them that is? Uh, what's his last name? Oh, no. Jealousy was his, I don't know, I'm going to call him Jealousy. Gillespie, however you say his name, I benched him because I didn't use him. He had like three, he had like, I don't know if it's Gillespie. He had like three touchdowns yesterday. Ryan Gillespie. Now you're just making up names. He had three touchdowns for a Patriots running back quadruple. What do you call like? So it's like a trio, but what do you call four running backs? Quad. A quad. There was a, they had a quad in the backfield. Mm-hmm. And I had one of the quads and he went off and he'll probably never do that again. Yeah, Tom Brady, no passing touchdowns. How crazy is that? Were you more impressed with Alex Smith's play, or were you more disappointed in Tom Brady's play? <clears throat> um, because Alex Smith is just a game manager. I as guess Ralph would always between say. the two, I would say I was probably more impressed. Okay, because let's be honest, it's a long off season. The dude, forty. The dude's. The dude's old as, as most of the coaches. He, I mean, his girlfriend's talking about how many concussions he gets, and he's going out there. He, he tried, but the guy doesn't, he's scared to get hurt. That's mm. what it looks like to me. And I, I mean, I don't blame him, but it's like, if you're not competing at the highest level, why are you, like maybe you should just retire. It's really weird because you'd think that a whole season without Gronk and the offense was amazing. Like, Tom Brady couldn't change that much in one year, I don't think. And then with Gronk, I mean, you'd think they would double-team him and all these other receivers would they get into it. They didn't need to double-team him. They just stuck Mr. Barry on him. Oh, bad news about Eric Barry, though. He tore his Achilles. He will – most it. likely he will be out the entire year. And a friend oh, of mine right. was talking about him, how he was such, a, like, an inspiring player because – or inspirational player because he, he battled cancer and he beat it. He got back. And then he was killing it the entire game. Like, that's a defense. Most people don't see it, but, like, that's why they won the game. They played great defense, and then he goes out for the year. That's just a sad thing to see. You know what's funny, though, is uh, uh, my roommate, you probably never heard of him. His name is uh, Ralph. Ralph, yeah. He, uh, <laughs> he, he had a fantasy team where he picked both Gronk and Patriots D. And, and which usually are pretty safe bets in both. I would never help him out. At all. I mean, Patriots defense aren't isn't bad, but they had a lot of injuries. I, mean, last I don't night. know exactly why he picked who he did. Maybe we'll hear that. Who's Flan? Juan Flan de Leon. Juan Ponce de Leon. Did you know that he was like one of the Spaniards that came over and settled, uh-huh. settled Florida? I did know that. And he made up the myth that uh, there was the Fountain of Youth. Really. And then he murdered a bunch of Did Floridians. Did he find it himself, or he just... No. He never said he found it. He just knew of the myth. I don't know what it was, but he said, yeah, there's a fountain of youth here, and if you drink from it, you'll be young forever. Do you think it, he was just, like, trying to, like, scam people, and now he's in the history books forever? He's in the history books because he slaughtered a bunch of, fl- like, Native yeah, Americans, but I mean, Floridians. I don't know what you want to call Anybody them. can do that. You're right. I mean, if that's all you got to do, you know... Spaniards did it, British did it, the French did it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm, who didn't mm-hmm, do it? Mm-hmm, Everybody mm-hmm, and their mothers mm-hmm, did it, mm-hmm. which is a sham. White people. I don't know can if we should. Can you believe? I'm not white. I don't know if I can talk about this. That mustache isn't white, that's for sure. Well, technically, I am white. I'm like, there's like, I mean, my mom's white, so I am white, but my dad, he's, he's a toss up. He looks black. But he's and our predictions for the game. Oh yeah! Second. Bam, bam, bam! We're already off on the wrong foot. No, we're off on the right foot, which is I don't know if that's the. the Did you ever right get the other not, video ready for that one special? It never went through, but you know what? Why don't I go ahead? And you try do that, and I'll, I'll just talk about the football games we got. Mm-hmm. So every week, I mean, Miway will always be making predictions. So at the end of the year, like head to head, we're gonna see who has the better record. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. any guests we invite, they're going to have to also predict these NFL games. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we're going to pick the same five games every week. So the first game we agreed on, because they are my favorite team, is uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers are playing at Cleveland week one of the year. And I this is one of my locks, like super locks of the week. Pittsburgh's going to lock it, lock it I mean, they're gonna destroy him. Last time Antonio Brown was at Cleveland, he uh, 
He kicked harder than that one Spartan in that one movie. Mm, he just oh, uh, bam. There was like three hundred Spartans. Troy. There was three hundred of them. I don't know the one with Brad Pitt. Oh 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 oh. Billy Dynamo, I think, played a part in that one. Billy Dynamo was Zeus. It was the Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson. Thank you. Thank you so much. But no, yeah, he kicked him harder than that guy did in that movie, and he face kicked a punter, and he got get a flag for it. Probably got fine. If I had a nickel, am I right? But I mean, it's I would be willing to bet thirty dollars on that game, and that's a lot. That is a lot. What is your pick, Wade? For what game? Pittsburgh at Cleveland. Oh, easy. Cleveland's going to lose. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wade's been known to uh, pick the underdog here, but there's a difference between underdog and a dog who's down under because he's so far behind. No. Sorry, All right. I'm that's an easy one. Everybody's a pick that. I can't multi Our next game is going to be – this is a tough one. I mean, not really a tough one. It's going to be a harder pick than the Steelers game, but it's still an easy pick in my opinion. But it's the Atlanta Falcons at the Chicago Bears. Uh, everybody's thinking Super Bowl slump here, right? No. I'm not. I think Matt Ryan's going to have just as good as a year. They're probably – You uh, would think – NFC Championship – You would think that they expe- expectations be for me. like just as hungry as they were last year. I mean, I don't know of any key like losses. But here's they, the thing. The story – I mean, the history does not uh, bode well for them because if you look at the past NFC champions, like who lost in the Super Bowl, we get the 49ers. What happened to Kaepernick? He's gone. Well. All right, Seattle. What's happening in Seattle? Everybody's leaving them. Marshawn Lynch took a year out just to leave Se- Seattle. And now he's playing in his hometown of Oakland, which it's go- yeah, that's gonna be a fun game. But my pick, yeah. my pick is uh, is Atlanta at Chicago. They're gonna beat Chicago. I mean, question mark quarterback for Chicago. I mean, they they drafted a first round quarterback, but they is got Atlanta is you said beating Chicago. Atlanta's gonna beat Chicago. Chicago had a terrible year I, last year. It's like I don't want to agree with you because then it's no fun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say. Here's the thing, you can, agree, no, you can say Atlanta now because these next three games are going to be really toss-ups, and I'm going to let you pick first. So if you want to say Atlanta because that is the smart choice to do here. Well, don't tell me what's smart and what's not. All right, your pick. What do you pick? Chicago. In the books. Uh, Tony Romo's going to have six touchdowns. Adrian Peterson's going to run for four. And Ju- Julio Jones is going to have six. So Chicago in the books. Lock it. Lock it. You heard it here first. Maybe second. I don't know. He probably got that from somewhere. Uh, our next game, uh, Arizona at Detroit. Arizona had a terrible year last year, but they were hurt a lot on defense. They got Tyron Matthew coming back. They're going to have a great defense again. But then you got Detroit, who if they beat the Packers in the last game of the year, they, they get the home game in that first playoff game, and they don't play on the road and lose. They had a chance. The both teams are good, is what I'm saying. Is I'm gonna let you pick first. Cardinals and the Lions at the Lions at Detroit. Tell me who is the running back for the Lions these days? Reggie Bush. Uh, what's his name? Uh, it's a. Uh, I hate to say this. It's a. Uh, Amir Abdullah. I was gonna say something racist, but I didn't. He. It's a. It's Amir Abdullah. And the running back for the Cardinals is. David Johnson. That is a top one fantasy running yeah, back. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard of him. I've heard of him. He carried their offense last year. I'm going to go with Cardinals. You go with Cardinals. Uh, the Cardinals, the only way I see them losing is if they get behind early. And then you can't really use David, Don- David Johnson much. And then you become a one sided offense, and Carson Palmer ain't the same Carson that he used to be in Cincinnati. I'm going to go with Detroit at home. Just because Stafford's a heck of a quarterback, man. He is. He's pretty good. And he just um, got paid. I just don't know if you're right, though. Well, it's our first It's our first disagreement of the year, I and, just, and it's a big game. I just game. think that you're wrong, and there's no way that you're going to be right. I can't argue with that because, like, that is the most solid argument I could ever hear. I don't know. What do you do? I'm going to go to the next game. I'm going to change it up. Football. Should I change it up? I have a friend who's this guy's. F- no, I'm not going to change it up. Screw that. Uh, poop that. Well, hold on a second. 
Yeah. No, the levels look pretty good. We can go ahead and start the show if you want. You want to start? Who the... Who you think you talking to? I don't... I don't know. Oh, yeah, that was weird. We're going back to the show. Uh, next game of the week is... Oakland at Tennessee. I've seen a lot of top ten picks on the year from a lot of smart sports analysts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and they have mm-hmm, Tennessee mm-hmm. and Oakland being a, both being top ten teams. Ten- I you know, I wanna root for Oakland. I really do. Like, I don't know what it is, but I wanna believe in that team. Like Carr and Lynch. They got Amari Cooper, right? Yeah, they do. And they get Crabtree. <coughs> I gotta tell you, Seth, I want to believe in them this year. I really do. The last time they were relevant, they had the coach, a coach by the name of John Gruden. And disputes happened within the front office, and then John Gruden ends up in Tampa Bay. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. guess who plays in the Super Bowl that next year? T- uh, the Raiders. The Raiders in Tampa Bay. They had it. Rich Gannon against Tampa Bay, and Tampa Bay took a dookie on them. And that's when the, that's the last you've heard of the Raiders. They traded away a Hall of Fame coach. Just, I don't know if it was Al Davis. He was getting old, dementia. I don't know. But they started, it started going downhill from there. My pick, though, is going to be Oakland as well. I think Oakland's going to come out on top. The no. defense is getting older, meaning more experience, and Eric Carr is going to return to form. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and agree with you. You've already, you've already blocked your pick in, brother. Yeah, and and I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. I am, I'm trying to hack into the mainframe right now to see if we can uh, uh, get access to the thing. The the th- thing is it not? I don't, I don't know. I've I've been trying. Oh, it's loaded. Look. I, I mean, it's not. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Okay. So we know that that is the video. But now we just got to see if it'll load. Back out and then try it again. Because I just saw it pop up. Okay. All right. So we got... And this is a real treat for you guys at home. This is a real, this is a real treat. Um, We got a guest coming to talk about... So to Something add, that we really uh, think cause, we should address. A cause that we, we need to address for the show. This is not good. You need to open it up on the email. Um, well, I wasn't able to send it to myself as an email. I, w- I could only... Use Google Drive. So it might take a minute. Um, this is not cool. This isn't good. This isn't good radio. I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna get back to the football while he keeps working on that. But we might have a special treat for you coming within the next two minutes. Uh, but let's go to the next game. And uh, what was that? What was the matchup? We both picked Oakland. This next one's a, a really going to be a good game to set the tone for the NFC East. The Philadelphia Eagles with Carson Wentz. Is going into FedEx Stadium. Maybe? I think it's FedEx. I don't know the Redskins Stadium. FedEx but they're, Field. They're playing Redskins, and Kirk Cousin. He's on that. It's, fran- a, it's a nice stadium. franchise tag year or whatever you want to call it. He's got to prove himself one last time to get the big bucks. It. Ooh. E. Ooh. E. Ooh. What do you do? What do you pick? What do you think? Um. Yeah. See. I can I what? I have a lot of family members who root for the Redskins. I mean, we live in Virginia. It makes sense. And you know, I always kind of thought they were a little bit of a joke. I mean, for yeah, the Redskins are definitely of, a joke. A lot of my lifetime, they just kind of. I want like to interrupt you here. They've gone four zero in preseason a lot, and it's so funny. It's so love funny living in a Redskins town. Because once they see that preseason, they're like, oh my goodness, we're going we're gonna to win the Super Bowl. Guess what? They what? lose. Oh. Yeah, well, everybody says that, but especially them. Um, they overpay for the, the owner. I just absolutely but dislike. you got to give them credit. I think they're getting there. They're not there. They're going to lose. I'm they, picking the Eagles. But they're closer than they were. I mean, is that wrong to say? Here is the thing. Here's the thing. It all depends. It all depends on Kirk Cousins. 
Kirk, Kirk Cousins. Kirk, 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 Kirk Cousins. Captain Kirk. Right. If he plays like he did for most of the entire year last year, uh-huh. the the Redskins come out on top. All right. But in the, the game of the year, when it mattered most, fighting for a playoff spot, and the defense played a heck of a game that game, he came out on the field in the heck fourth quarter and threw game. a pick. He choked under pressure. So it all comes down to pressure for Kirk. I think I think the Redskins wins by they win by like ten points. Redskins win this Redskins by ten points. Redskins by ten. So Kirk okay. goes off in the first half. Review re- review our answers real quick. Let's just run through it real quick. We both picked the oh no no I picked the Steelers and you picked the Steelers. Yeah. You picked the the Bears. I picked the Falcons. Yeah yeah. I picked the Oakland Raiders. You picked the Oakland yeah, Raiders. Yeah yeah yeah. I just picked the the Redskins and you picked the Eagles. Yep. Are we missing a game? Falcons. Oh, and the Falcons. We picked that game too. Yeah, we both picked the same thing. Oh no, that was the Falcon Bears game. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I think that's all. It is not working. Um, I'm still working on it. I'm gonna try and email it. Oh, and then we did Arizona Detroit. That was game five. Arizona Detroit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And I picked Arizona, and you picked Detroit. Detroit. Ooh. Okay. So we disagreed on Arizona Detroit on Chicago. Atlanta and <laughs> listen to the radio show every time I remember our picks or things. Um, I've already I just explained to them our picks. <laughs> did we at least like write them down? I mean I will remember them. I have a photogenic memory. You do have a pretty photogenic memory. That's for sure. Um, uh, I really wish this video would load because yeah. it's, it's a very important part to this episode. At least we think. Yeah, and it doesn't have to necessarily be watched. It can be listened to as can well. Can you copy the link and then so upload it on something else? Like, save it and then upload it on, like, a video of a real player, real-time player? Yeah, let me just... I can send the mainframe real quick. Downloader. Downloader. I Hit tried. Down. It wouldn't let me. Ooh. Yeah, it said it was forbidden. Let me try open with. Um, open with video converter. Does it need to be converted? We are going in uncharted territories. We are, aren't we? I'm just going to go ahead and hit the old uh, reload button. I guess we can move on to NBA talk. People still watch the NBA. Uh Uh-oh, spaghetti It just needed needed a good old reload, that's all. All right, let's... Are we talking this way? Did we speak too soon? Gosh darn it, wait. We got it uploaded and then it just cut out. Oh... I'm telling you guys, if it if it loads, the sports philosophy, the show where we try and get stuff loaded that we should have done much earlier. We wait to the last minute so bad. We we do, we, and we had so long to prepare this episode. We and we literally, literally wait an all entire summer. summer. But I mean, I don't think we can blame this video. I mean, our pre- preparedness uh-huh, uh-huh, on this uh-huh. video not loading. You know what we can talk about? We're looking for people. Oh yeah. If you want to help, uh, help any way with a camera, you can hold a camera for us. If you want to help marketing, you want to get the name out, you can help us there. If you want to help, I don't know, do our taxes. If you want to help or contribute out any way, we are hiring new interns. Because as we all know, Wade Fury, he moved up. I'm, I moved oh, God damn Language. Language. My hair just looks, it looks awful. It looks fine. It looks fine. Okay, look. Keep looking at the camera. Just smile. <coughs> do, do you love YouTube videos? Do you watch videos and think, man, that was funny. I wonder how they did that. Do you also think, oh my gosh, I already know how to do that. I, I bet I can make their stuff better. Well, come on down to WODU and look for the sports philosophy. We're looking for talented people with camera skills, computer wow. skills. Anything else that might be relevant. If you want to help us out, feel free. We'll give you a full interning position. Will you become our personal interns? No, no. Back on you. Back on you. You're the you're the face. <coughs> um, face the pl- look at the face camera. Look, the at, place. look at the camera. If you want to be the guy who tells Alex to look at the camera, if you want to be the guy who tells him if you shave your mustache, you are off the show. Seriously. Brother, I... I only do then this come on down for to WODU Studios and find the sports philosophy people, <laughs> Alex and Wade, the coolest guys in in radio. Side side note, uh, we're running from four to five prime time web spot on a Friday. 
I really think if we tried, we could get randoms to come on the show. <laughs> Yeah, see. Look, Do you want to set this? It's up? only telling us. It's only telling us the YouTube watchers. We don't know how many people are listening out there on the old radio. Uh oh, the radio guitario. Why did you plug in that mic? Just in case we get a random. Oh, in case somebody says, "Hey, that sounds interesting." Just be like, "Yo, you want to get on the sports philosophy?" Do, Do we? We need to print out a sign that we can put like on this window that says "The Sports Philosophy in Progress." Try it again. Okay, I'll try it again, but nothing's really changed. Um. See, it shows that, so you're like, oh, we got a chance. And then it starts loading, and nada. See, it says, failed, forbidden. Where does it say that at? Down here. That's, stop, stop. Oh, my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe I can send this somewhere else. Ooh. What if we Share? upload it to, up, to, up to YouTube right now? Okay, uh, 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 see, okay, hold on, I have an idea. Um, all right, I'm going to talk about baseball and my beef with Donald Trump. Um, everybody talks politics when, they, when it comes to hating Donald Trump, but I don't know if hate's the right word, but my dislike for Donald Trump comes from some, somewhere out of left field. No pun intended, but it's baseball. Korean superstar... AKA King Kong, Jung Ho Gong. We didn't know about it, but he got arrested for a DUI. This is how the story started. He got arrested for a DUI in Korea, and uh, we were like, uh oh, he might be out for a while. But then it happened to be. I never said that. I said that. And then it just happened to be his third. And I want to get this on the record I am not an advocate for DUI driving, that is, a, that is wrong. But mm -hmm. when you mess up with your foreign policy and deny a player his worker's visa mm -hmm. because of a mistake he made at a party, mm -hmm. he's Cor I don't I don't know if that means anything. He's he's South Korean, and he and he's he's in an environment finally back with his friends after being in an environment where he doesn't even know the language. And so of course you get a party. Of, he probably should not have drive. I mean, he didn't hurt anybody. He ran, I mean, he, he ran over a, a couple stop signs. I'm, again, I'm not advocating for any kind of drinking and driving, but I am saying to not to deny this man's his life because of a mistake. Come on. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he'll get it back next year, but we don't know. And so I have a message to you, Donald Trump. Free Jung Ho Gong. He won't do it again. I promise on his by behalf. What do you get to say about that, Wade? So I'm looking at this. Live stream is offline. What does that mean, Wade? What? Down below. It says live right there. That makes. I'm gonna go check it out. We have four streamers. That's so weird. Yeah, I mean, I, I pulled it up on my phone earlier. Hey, if you're out there, just uh, hit us up and let us know everything is looking smooth. Oh yeah, we're going live. My brother said, try emailing it to him and he'll e email it back. Seth, you're not old enough to have an email. You gotta be 21. The Too more bad. you know. I, we are so sorry, folks. If we can get fix this technical difficulty. Dude, okay. Here's a crazy idea. Let's airdrop it to the iPad. Send it through the iPad. Why will it change anything? What I if we hook the iPad on, up to the aux and then just zoom in on the iPad? But, I mean, the iPad would be bigger. The iPad would be bigger. Let's, let's just do that, because this video is, is of dire matter, because we are about 10 minutes late on this segment, and it's a very pressing issue that I yeah, don't think... It's, it's one of the more important things that we really had to discuss. I work with a bunch of teens, and then the new millennials, man, these, these, these smokers... Say it. Say it. They, all we have are just these marijuana smokers now. Weed heads. Dear weed heads, and I want to make it a case because we got this four to five times sl slot. I want to have an anti 420 smoking hour mm -hmm. where uh, for every week we have uh, say it. Uh, every week we have uh, a pretty famous guy that a lot of people know, just 
speak their mind on the issue of marijuana cigarettes or just any kind of CBD. Like, what is that? We're just making up chemicals now? Yeah, oh, if we call it something else, they won't notice that we're still getting high. Like, grow up, you guys. I mean, do you want to be lazy for the rest of your life? Have you seen those commercials where, like, they're just bodies? Do you want to be, like, Snoop Dogg? Who, who, he can't even speak. He goes, Slizzle, Frizzle my nizzle, extra like, salt this? on the tizzle. What does that mean? What really grinds my, my gears. You know what grinds my gears? You know, it's these songs that are just of, engulfed in that, that. Just hideous. I mean, it's not hideous. Other things are bad. But they, I... No. No, it's Other on equal playing field. Other bad. Um, How's it working? How's okay, it on your you know iPad? What? Let's just go for the old iPad. All <laughs> right. Like, it's going to be We're going to play the video, and you got to hook it up to the aux. It is going to Make sure the crazy. aux is on. We're going to oh, test yeah, the sound out that's first. That's true. I, do, I should... Uh, good, uh, this is very important for just... Okay, well, here's... A Anti-weed awareness. Turn the ox on. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we need to turn this all the way up. So, okay. Get the camera. Get uh, get positioned, and then you hit play. I'm just, I'm just holding. I'm just holding. All right. Let me zoom in on her. Get it. Get in the... Sh Is that good? It looks good to me. Let me check on the YouTube stream. Oh, you moved, brother. <laughs> well, I got an email. All right. This is good. <laughs> okay, play. Uh, and it is Steel Johnson here. Of course, yeah. you guys knew that. Knowing the you adult store. Roles and uh, the devil's wear nada and 101 dolls inflation. <laughs> but I need to talk about more serious issues right now. And that is marijuana cigarettes. Did you know that anybody who has ever smoked those cigarettes of marijuana have 100% of dying later in life? You can't argue with those stats. That's it from Steel. Back to you guys. Wow, what a character. Okay, so let me just... His shirt was off. Why? Uh, I believe he was an adult... Film star, you heard it. You heard it on the video. I don't know if you guys heard it there uh -huh, uh -huh. at home. He he worked in uh, 101 Dolls Inflation. <laughs> he worked in uh, The Devil Wears Nada. Uh, he maybe the the Hills Have Thighs. I wish we were making this up because these names are ridiculous. Uh, what what was the other one? Uh, Grandma's Play Toy. Like Grandma's Boy, but like it was like based off of other things. I mean, he's known all throughout the world. Like it, they've converted his his voice into Japanese, uh, French. Uh, you know, tell us more. You know about him, Steel. Steel Johnson. He killed my family. All right, now you're just taking this personally because of a mistake he made. You always say that. I, I of course, I'm gonna take it personally. I don't see why you were raising your voice at me. I kind of understand your You anger. told them to kill him! Uh, now we're getting into, what is it called? Uh, semantics, you know? You put everything under the microscope, as, as what's his name said, nothing will make sense. That's, I, you got a point. If you start putting it, words under a microscope, nothing's, nothing makes sense. I mean, maybe you'll get a big blob of ink. Uh, do we got any questions from the, the chat at home? Uh, oh, yeah, we do have a question from, how do you say that, Rogue Eggwan. Oh, that's Roki. That is Roki. My man, Roki. He likes the Red Sox. Uh, but I'm going to tell you something, Roki. I hate the Red Sox because they're winning Ooh. right now. So, boom, roasted. Oh, roasted. <laughs> we should definitely get that soundboard up, too. Um. Oh, yeah, I I think I still have that on the iPad. Do we have any, uh, how, what was his name? Uh, Jeff. Jeff? I, I don't know. I don't know. The, our, we got it. We kind of have an intern now. That's true. Oh, maybe I can, ooh, hold on a sec. 
Wait, what do we do about that one? Ooh. If I can get this one, if, if oh boy, you know, haha. <laughs> hey. He's really hot because he's wearing a jacket for some reason. It's not even that cold in here, you guys. <laughs> if you can't jacket, then whack. Uh, um, we'll have a member from no, Ma We'll have a members from. Stay on that topic. Well, let's have a, we'll have a member from Mups and Maps later in the year again. Mups and Maps. Can you remind all the viewers what and who that was? Because I don't remember actually. I gotta be honest. I don't really. Let remember. me tell you something. Hey, do this you get, is actually. Did uploaded. you get this message from? Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I, hey, brother, I did it last season, and I didn't get in trouble for it. Hey. Oh, look. That actually loaded pretty quickly. Let's see if it worked. You try the other one now. <laughs> just think, just, why not? Why Why not? Uh, Just for the viewers at home that think nipples is nudity, <laughs> it's not. Uh, Especially the male one. So... If you want to argue the hypocrisy there, that you got a case, but I'm just playing by the rules that are in place now. Mm -hmm. You've already played by the rules, though. That's kind of in your video. Speaking about playing by the rules, NBA is coming back soon. Oh, I can't wait. I love basketball. I don't watch basketball because there's no Pittsburgh basketball teams. Basketball is my favorite. I can't wait. Uh, Let me tell you something. Everybody's all hyped because Kyrie Irving's going to the Celtics. Or, I mean, Cleveland fans, hey, we're getting Isaiah Thomas. They're probably not happy, but none of the teams got better. And I think the real question is, like, you need to be better to beat you Golden State. You don't think the Celtics are better this year than they were last year? Look, uh, pretty much take last year's lineup and replace Isaiah and uh, Jared. Uh, my words what's may have been wrong. What's his name? Jared Sullinger? Or something? They haven't gotten better replace enough to beat them the with Warriors. with Kyrie and Gordon Hayward? They haven't gotten better enough to beat the oh, Warriors. Did they lose Avery Bradley? I they lost. They. Remember. I know they lost Crowder. He was pretty scrappy. Name. He was a very I scrappy player. Use the two. It's it's Crowder. Is his and name. they lost Olenek. Yeah, that's uh, that's a big man <laughs> that can shoot the ball. He was oddly like one, and of, they, one of their heroes in the playoffs. No, let me tell you something. Year. I mean, but a lot of the times this doesn't get talked about. The heart and soul of the squad, Isaiah Thomas. Which is another thing. Fans were was. burning his jersey made no sense. This dude played after his sister died and had the greatest game of his, of his playoff career of his career. Playoff career of his career. And then the, the upper management thinks they'll get better by trading him. Hey, do you want to give out the phone number? Like, just, like, say it right now. And just, uh, you know, if anyone out there is listening live, they can call in. And maybe uh, I have to look up the number. Edit it out later. I ha uh, we I thought we had it on our phones, brother. Okay, I'm still trying to. Uh, All right. Uh, I'm trying to get the second thing up. Request. Uh, let's let's see if this works here. Hey. Yep, that that's the number. All right. All right. Give it out. Seven five seven. Seven five seven. Six eight three. Forty four. Oh five. I'll repeat it again here. 757-683-4405. Oh, we could have just put it in like the chat. Let's just, let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, say it again. 757-683-4405. All right. There you go. There you go, folks. Check the video. Check the video. Well, yeah. I've been trying it on and off, and uh, it doesn't really work. Oh, but... Um, I think I can, uh, live stream it from the iPad. Defi definitely technical difficulties. Yeah, I don't know exactly what's the problem, but I think we should just go ahead and use the iPad, because apparently iPad is better technology these days than computers. It's crazy. Alright. Alright, so, I'm gonna go ahead and let, uh, what was his name? Did he have a name? I thought you said Jeff. Yeah, okay, so we got a we actually got a new guy in the field right now. He's waiting to do a report on uh apparently it is a restaurant industry day. So let's hear from him. I might have one. <coughs> can you hear us? Can you hear us? <coughs> Thanks guys. They and can we're hear here it. in pause sunny it, pause it. I got to get we're gonna Oh we're shoot. Gonna do some I people for it. for National Food Industry Day. Come on, let's go. That's a cool pretty cool guy. How long has he been? Uh, sorry, sir, I'll, I'll let sir. him go to work. Uh, uh, 
in lieu of National Food Industry Day, we're looking to see if you know anyone in the food industry. What a coincidence. I am in the food industry. Oh my goodness. Where do you work? Crazy, you got that A little barbecue joint. Name of Smalls. <laughs> that sounds Smalls. pretty neat. Can I ask you a few questions about the food industry? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Don't touch the mic. Uh, so what is it like uh, living in the food industry? It's a lifestyle for sure. So what is what is that you got there? Oh, I'm just uh, cooking some spices. What do, what do spices do? They spice things up, of course. <laughs> so, is is there anything else that you'd like to say for National Food I think they uh, that Industry? I well, absolutely. Don't, don't touch the mic. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Um, eat healthy. Go out. Enjoy the food. And that that was our interview that? with. Uh, and I don't know what's going on. Excuse me. And we're gonna go back to you guys at the studio. Say. Say sports philosophy. Sports philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Jeff. Um, we'll talk to you later. I hate to be <clears throat> blunt about this. Yeah, please do, though. That was terrible. That's just terrible. Yeah, I don't... Uh-oh. Uh, we got our first unexpected call of the year. Now remember, if there's any bad language, you... That is on them. We have no control over this. I think... I think... You gotta hit the connect. I, gotta, I hit connect. You always forget that. I hit the connect. Oh, then it you hit the other connect. Hello? 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 Who, who, who do we got here? Uh, um, this is, uh, um, uh, Sir Mamaduke. Did you say your Sir name? Sir Mamaduke? Hello? Sir Mamaduke. Are you, are you saying Sir Mameter? Thur. Thor. Uh, the, the T-H. T-H. Sir. Thur. Thermometer. Your name is Thermometer? Yes. Okay, why, uh, what are you, how are you today? Thanks for calling in. What are you up to, Mr. Thermometer? Um, uh, I'm just Hold watching Hold on, I'm show. sorry. I, st I still don't know what his name is. Just go with it. Okay, go with it. Go with it. Oh! It's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's actually very, very, it's very spectacular simple. All right, keep, uh. He doesn't Relax, have to attack sir. me. Go ahead. Tell us what you do. Oh, like my like my job? Yeah, you sure. Whatever. Well, I uh, make things that uh they're, they're very they're very uh it's very high tech. They tell the temperature. You you work for a company that takes the temperature? No, no, no. They make devices that tells the temperature. You work they talk to temperatures that makes thermometers. Yes. You, Mr. Thermometer. Yes. Work in a thermometer plant. Yeah. Yes. Now yes. it's making sense. Okay. So did you change your name to that after you started working there, or did you know from birth that that was what you were destined to do? What do you mean? He means when did you become? interested in telling usually, the temperature usually people's names aren't the same as their job unless your name's Usher. especially uh, beforehand it's, it's not it's spelled differently i told you it was thor so you're saying your name had nothing to do with the career choice you made N no i don't really get where you're going with this i don't, I don't understand okay okay well sir w uh why are you calling why did, why did you call uh, well, I just wanted to think, wait, I, I want to, I want to, I want to, uh-oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what are you doing there? I want, I want to know your opinion on something. Okay. This is good. Please. Uh, I wanted to know your opinion on, um, uh, uh, Isaiah Thomas, uh, Joe Crowder, and, uh, some other guy getting traded to the Boston Celtics, or, er, uh, the... Cleveland Cavaliers, I wanna, you know, Are you, you okay, sir? You sound a little better? nervous. Uh, it's, his, it's, it's a long time listener, first time caller. I get it. Yeah, he wants to know. Just relax. Don't worry. Do you want to know how good Cleveland's going to be? I think Cleveland's going to improve. They have great coaching. They All they did was add more weapons. Like, nobody. They didn't lo lose anything that they didn't also, like, gain from trades, is all I'm saying. That's what I, my original point was. So, I think Boston's still going to be, like, top of the East. I think Cleveland's still going to be top of the East. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's not much you can say. I don't think Isaiah's going to have quite the impact that that Irving did, but when you play with LeBron, you get a lot of, like, easy looks. So he's going to have a good time. But, I mean, LeBron's getting old now. He's bound to have that one, like, defining, like, year where it's like, all right, he's now he's on his down. He's not there yet, but, though. But, I mean, he's, da- he's going down. Dude, no, he's, like, 30 years old. Maybe like thirty two. I don't know. He's still pretty young. Can you switch my mics? Like it's coming in weird in my headset. Like go to mic three. I'm gonna use this mic. Oh, it's probably because. I don't know. All right. Does, does this sound better? Hello. I don't know. Uh. uh, s- s- uh Hello. We're still on the line with this guy. Uh. Anything yeah, else, sir? Yeah. Anything else? Um. Well. Poop. Uh, my opinion on it was um. Oh. No, yeah, since they that. gave up. Um. Since they gave up Kyrie Irving. They got two people, or three people back, but Kyrie Irving was a main part of their offense. And I feel like their offense is going down. Here's the thing. Ratings. Here's the thing I want to I want to disagree with. All right, Irving wanted to be his the superstar that controlled a team. You can't do that with LeBron James. Isaiah Thomas is Isaiah Thomas realizes, yo, I'm going to a team that already has their guy. No pressure is on me. I think Thomas is going to have a great year. He's going to be fine with whatever injury he, they thought he had. And honestly, I think it's going to be a rematch in the finals, uh, the Cavaliers against the Warriors. But do I think the, the Cleveland Cavaliers got good enough or got better enough to beat the Warriors? No, they did not. So, But, um, um, but there's a lot of pressure on you to be a point guard. So I feel like Isaiah Thomas – Still wouldn't play his full self. Like Here's the thing: he, he doesn't have to. Though. He doesn't have to. I feel Kyrie has to play at a superstar mode. That I don't know if he can put up every single game. Sir, we're gonna have to let you go. We're about to get into our next segment. We have a important court case to go over today. Uh, any last uh, comments, Mr. Momenter? Uh, um, yes. Uh, uh, check out my uh, uh, um business in my uh uh channel my channel is my username of course and my business is sir mom her what is your Not username the same as my name it's the same as my uh thing when i type in chat okay whatever you say thanks for calling and what just check out my um shop he's just too, now he's stuff. just using our show okay. for yeah for radio i time. i don't know who that was and to be honest, this is why I was hesitant to actually say I wasn't remember. really sure if that was a girl or guy, to be honest. Thur can really go either way. Therma? Therma? Mom meter. Uh, uh, what? Oh, our court case that we're going to try to bring on next episode if we can get a, a judge in here. Yeah. Ralph, I'm we talking can, We to can you. at least like lay out like the basic sides, and that way the viewers at home can kind of think about it. And maybe uh, give us some of uh, their thoughts, and we can talk about they it next week on the in. show. Yeah, 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 for sure. We can say blah 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 had a good point when they said. All right, I'm just gonna call this this court case decision uh, sports v reality TV, Mm-mm-mm. and the defendant who is defending their name and their lawyer is going to be me. Yours truly. No, you're. Me defending sports, and what do you mean defending sports? It, it'll, it'll make more sense once I introduce you, and you'll be the attacker who is calling sports reality TV. Can't even see my mouth. All right. So since it's usually the uh, what is the prosecutor? Is that if you're attacking them, what do they call you? The defendant and the prosecutor, right? Something sure. like that. You can make your opening statement first because you are making the attacker claim. Fix the camera, you dingus. Okay. <coughs> How about you fix the camera? Dude? Okay. I'm not your intern anymore. Look, all I'm saying is, at its core, sports are made to be entertainment. Okay. And I won't talk. in doing so, in the evolution of what we've, oh, how we've created this whole empire of televised sports I think as much as these players are filmed as much as their lives are being exposed we're basically watching reality TV we watch 
their lives at home as well as their lives at work. We, we're following them around. We're literally talking about anything that they tweet or anything controversial. It sounds the same as a reality TV show to me. I. That's all I'm going to say for now. I'll just regardless of how I see it, just just compare it to other reality TV shows and see if it really is any different at its core. That's all I got to say. Here's my opening statement. It is going to be... Uh, sports are not reality TV. They are better. All right? Well, Number one... That doesn't, that's not really... Th- I'm now I'm making my three points. I didn't talk when you talked. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. They're... I'm making Does better s- imply that they're that, that 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 they're two completely different things, or are they possibly a one thing inside of another bigger thing? All right, number one is I know reality TV is trying to promote like basically literally reality, but there is always a scripted aspect. To That's it. not true. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't talk when you talk. All right, are we I gonna have a civilized that was, that debate, was a, that was or are you going to interrupt I me every time I talk? I had to call. A major aspect is that things are scripted. I mean, very rarely are things just improv on the spot trying to capture reality TV. We've just looked up that documentaries are not reality hey, TV. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I won't get that heavy in it. I'm sorry. Point one is that reality TV means an aspect of script in it. Number two is sports does not have script. It has competition, which is an undefined thing, literally meaning – that well, there's no way of knowing it's who, it's pretty it's it's competition. That's all I'm gonna wrap it up into competition instead of script. All right. And then number three, if if you were going to say that sports is uh, reality TV, the example I would say to you that could match that is WWE. That is entertainment, and it it, it, it makes up it has the appearance of being real, but it is scripted. That is reality TV. And that's when I say sports are better than reality TV. Ending up in the same. Are you done yet? Oh, my gosh. I got to defend my client. Talk a little longer. All right. We're getting to that point where we need to start winding down. We're almost at the end of the show. I kind of got an idea. I think we should uh, maybe for the viewers who didn't see it earlier, we replay our – our new intro video and maybe break it down a little bit kind of say what it means exactly what do you think is it really up there this, oh yeah. oh, this is right. the only yeah, one yeah. that actually was okay so we're gonna change it over to uh which one is it uh, there camera it is one. camera one and <laughs> How good is that? Out of all things, I am very happy with that intro video we have made because <coughs> we're going to be using it throughout the entire And semester. not only is it a fun little way to introduce the show, it kind of defines us a little bit. You know, it, it me, I'm a scientist. Alex, he's a magician. I, I'm a magician who is also a deep thinker. Ralph digs a lot of holes. And... What you got to understand is we're all individuals, but we're all bringing all these different things together for the show. Ralph, unfortunately, is a working man, couldn't be here tonight, but he's an equal part of the show as far as I'm concerned. He brings a lot of the creative, you know, he's in the writing room with us. Yeah, it's a shame he's working right now. Shout out to the old Ralfonso Santoro. But uh, he'll, he, he is a special guest for a reason, because... He's a guest, and every time he comes on, it's special because mm-hmm. he's not he's not playing mm-hmm. out his time, he, mm-hmm. or he's not overdoing mm-hmm. his time. Mm-hmm. Uh, what time is it? It's fifty-five. Looks like it's uh, we got about five minutes. Do you want to have like a little uh, improv freestyle right now? If you get some music playing in the background, some actual freestyle. Yeah, I'm not good at freestyle. I'll, I'll take it. I just feel like I'm gonna put myself <laughs> out there. 
I'm just really not good at this type of stuff. <laughs> Literally, I might give you two lines, or I might give you a hundred. How about you just look up like uh, like a beat on my on my iPad and just play it. You don't have to play it into the music. I mean, into the you okay. know. Okay. We'll just kind of we'll hear it. That way, we'll hear more of the rhyme and less of the the song. We don't want to get kicked off. If we even tell you the title of a song, we get kicked off YouTube. Seems like so. Uh, I'm trying. We're trying to stay on this week, you guys. You guys. I like how I say you guys. Like there's a lot of people out there, and they're all my fans. And oh, I love you guys. Oh, I couldn't do it without you guys. I I, I didn't think I was ever gonna be that guy. Uh, I I'm just gonna hit. I don't want one with it. Cause it has too many names in it. Cause like I don't. It doesn't. What do you mean too many names? In like. It? All right. This? I I mean I can kind of hit. All right. All right, let's see what you get. I'll, I'll start going. Uh, huh? My name is Alex, and I like to rap. <laughs> but don't worry if you got to crap, because my name is also toilet paper. Unless you ain't got that money maker. Floyd Mayweather doesn't tell the weather but if you go in this rhyme then i will make you better because my name doesn't rhyme with cassius clay but if you got the bill then i got to pay but i'm not constipated that's for pepto bismol in the hole it's a rat in the hole bibbly bob in my knob i don't like going on the cob only on a plate you disgrace I think we'll end it there. Uh, we tried. Oh I my tried. goodness. A little offbeat. Oh, wow. That was interesting. That's a little treat for those few viewers so watching until the end of the video. I think we should play it one more time on our way out. Wait, uh, give it, get, check the other videos one last time. Might as well. Um, find it. Oh. Sound like a heartbeat. Uh, yeah, I I wish it worked. I really do. What do you do? Um, I guess uh, we do our shout outs in the end of episodes. Shout out to Psycat Yuri, um, my uh, twelve year old brother, one of two viewers tonight. Appreciate. I think the we support. hit like four or five. We had a high of maybe five. That's still good. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> We're more of a show that you watch later it's on. It's prime time. Everyone's in their car, and you know what they're going to do? They're going to drive straight home, and they're going to Google yeah, the sports it. philosophy. Here's the thing. And also, they're going to be like, I'm so glad I tuned in to blah, blah, blah radio station today. Also, I want to let you guys know that later in the semester, I don't know when. Mm -hmm. I didn't give a date. It was a TBD, but before the end of the semester, we're going to get on the radio. And then the people that you don't have to wait. I mean, you're going to have to wait to watch it, of course, but you can at least listen to the radio. I don't know what station yet, but we'll figure it out when it comes to that point. Shout outs. You had one. Uh, you, you usually have three. I don't care. I already shouted out Alfonso Santoro. He's at work right now. Last one. Oh, that's really all I got. Uh, my first shout out is to Blue Pete's, the restaurant where I work out. And I want to shout out to you because I don't know how I feel right now. I don't know if I want to go into work. And I know nobody from there is watching right now, so I can say this now. I might no show. I don't. I mean, I'll of course let them know, but I really don't want to work. But then again, I'm a nice guy. I might go in. What happens if if you're like, I'm not coming in, and they're like, they have all right, and then they watch this video and they're like, that son of a gun, hold the last ton. They're gonna have to wait. They're gonna have to watch all of it though. That's why I'm putting it here at the end. Yeah, that's a good point because nobody. I'm pretty sure no one watches the second half hour if. If this the last forty five minutes of the show, it's a shame we waited till the end to add the uh, the court case because I think it can get really interesting. Well, if we, we didn't add. really have it. We can have it at the beginning of the next episode. Yeah. What do you guys think? You guys, Leave I love comments. you guys. Couldn't do it without you guys. Don't go All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play this on our way out. Um, and and uh, you guys have a good week. We'll see you guys in six days, twenty three hours and fifty nine minutes, or twenty two hours fifty nine minutes.
Never mind. I'm gonna.